Welcome to Hot Take Thursday, where Andrea and I answer a listener question that is related to the episode that we just released on Tuesday, except we are totally unedited and totally unfiltered. We may not be right, but we have an opinion. Mm-hmm. We yeah. sure do. We always hey, do. Hey, Andrea. Welcome to Hot Take Thursday. Hey, hey, hey. Um, yeah, this is going to be a good one. We talked on Tuesday all about Jonathan Haidt's book. The Anxious Generation, which is everywhere, which talked everywhere. about the end of play-based childhood and how technology is causing all these problems. It was a good, good conversation. So if you haven't listened to that yet, go back and listen to it. But this question, it should be one that applies whether you've listened to that episode or not. Like, yeah, I think it you'll definitely get it. does. Yeah, yeah, it definitely does. Dear Honest Women, how do we handle the differences between ourselves and other families who are either more permissive with tech or more conservative with kids having real world freedom? That is the question, isn't it? I don't know, listener. I'm still trying to figure it out. I That's know. That's my honest answer. Okay. So my hot take is two parts Ooh. and I'll, I'll give you just one first. Okay. The first one is you're going to have to talk to people. You're going to have to talk to people. You're going to have to talk to people in your neighborhood. And um, because that's where, I mean, like where you live or not, that's the easiest way to let your kids have real world freedom is to let them run around with other kids in the neighborhood. And so maybe you share the episode that we just did on Tuesday in fact, definitely share that episode and see if you can get some alignment around, I really want our kids to have a 1990s summer. And honestly, like no one's going to argue with that. And so you can say like, is it? I disagree. I think some people will argue with it. Really? Yeah. I mean, I like had a visceral response when you said you have to talk. Well, our neighborhood is just a little bit smaller. It's just yeah. a, like a really big circle, which is yeah. amazing because there's kids everywhere. Yeah. However, good luck finding kids playing by themselves outside mm. of my house. Like, oh. yeah, moms all there watching yeah. and monitoring everything, which yeah. is really hard because I very much feel like I always have to be there right? because everybody else is. Okay. That's a good point, Jess, especially if you live in a neighborhood where there are a lot of um, stay-at-home moms. And God, this puts so much pressure on us as working so moms much. because you're like, I can't fucking be there. I cannot be there every minute of every day. And the truth is, I don't want to be there. No. And even if I could, I fundamentally believe that my kids, at the ages that they're at, can have some real world freedom. And that's why I say you have to talk to people. Maybe it's like you have to find your people. And especially if you guys, you're, these are your oldest kids, you know, it's so much easier if you find a oh, family the older who's kids got, are way easier. Too. Oh, yeah. Well, and if you find Parents a family. give up by a certain point. Sorry. Yeah. It's but so also, true, I just. Though, right? It's true. But it's also. So the limits that I would have on my first child are very different than the limits that I'd have on my fourth child. So when you're trying to navigate this with your first child, I mean, if you're not lucky enough to have someone who's got a same age child as you do, but it's like their third child, then you might have to talk to other parents and say, hey, yeah, it's it's really different this year. Now they're 10 and I remember what I used to do when I was 10 and how fun it was for me to like walk around downtown, you know, uh, name the town. And I want my daughter to do that. What do you think about that? I mean, you're going to have to talk to people. If you're going to stretch norms, you're going to have to talk to people and find your people. Yes. And, you know, that might look like, and this is, this has looked like this recently for us. We're going to drop this group of boys out downtown with, you know, 10 bucks and yeah, maybe there are some parents circling in their car. Maybe that is happening. But you know what? They have the sense that they can do it and parents start to gain the sense that it's okay. And you just like have to push through those activities so that they can, everyone can like chill the fuck out. Does absolutely. that make sense? No, it, I, I absolutely agree with you. And I think like that whole outdoor play 
is easier per se to navigate than mm -hmm. the first part of the question where she talked about internet type usage or technology mm. usage. And I will say, like, I think I have a good idea, at least within our school, who has access to what, mostly mm -hmm. because I have an older child that literally tells me everything and I hope that never changes. Mm -hmm. But for me, if I know my child is going into fifth grade, if I know that so-and-so has free reign on a smartphone, my kid doesn't go to their house. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. That is Agreed. a hard no for me. Yep. And I know what kids have TikTok in elementary school, which is asinine to me. Good I will Lord. say that loud and proud mm -hmm. that I think that is asinine. So my kid will not have a play date at that person's house. Right. Does that make me a bad guy? Maybe. Eventually. I think at one point it did. Now my kid understands. Like, right. Listen, you can have this person at my house, at mm -hmm. our house. And I have no problem with a child, a 10-year-old, saying your phone stays in the kitchen. Right. I have no problem. You're in my house. Right. You don't like the rules? Well, don't come over. Yeah. And what you're hinting at is we do have to find some other parents that are aligned. Yes. This open use of the internet has been a huge problem in our neighborhood, and you do kind of naturally align. I mean, there are the families who their kids had smartphones really early. They had unlimited use of YouTube and other social media. It's not seeming to go well. And same thing. Like I, I actually love summer for establishing some of these norms because I will say to the to say say to my kids, like, you can go over and play with so and so. You may not go inside their house. Yeah. They they know they're not allowed to. It doesn't matter. And that's kind of my rule for everyone. Because to be honest, like, you know. Mrs. So-and-so didn't necessarily invite you over. And Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so might be working from home. And yes. I don't want you sitting in front of the television at their house or watching YouTube at their house. And if I find out you are, your ass is grass. Like that's, there are real consequences. Now you don't get to go out and play around their home. You have to stay around our home until we reestablish some trust. Agreed. So I just feel like, you know, you have to align you have to get a sense of what other parents think. But I also think, like you said, it starts with your kid. You explain this stuff to them. The most important thing you can do right now is play with yes. other kids. And, and as a parent, you can't be afraid to just like lay down the law. We've right. got to be okay with that. Right. You know, for my now going into second grade, there are kids his age that are allowed to play certain video games that again, like are equivalent to letting your kid on TikTok. Like, are right. you kidding me? Right. right. And again, to each their own, but my kids know if you go to this person's house and they're playing this, I expect you to say, I'm not allowed to play that. Right. Absolutely. And if this child is saying, hey, let's watch this, I expect you to say no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you find yourself in a situation where this stuff is coming up and you do it anyway, let's talk about it so we yeah. can help you develop the skill to be able to say no. But let's also talk about wisdom and saying, every time you go over to Johnny's house, he wants to play that game that you're not allowed to play. You're telling me it's really hard for you to say no. We're not going to go to Johnny's house anymore. Right. And I, again, you. like that's okay with me because you're not getting anything out of that time at Johnny's house. If you're sitting no. in front of a screen or you're scrolling on their phone. I mean, there's that, no point. I just, there's, there's no, no point. point in even going there. Mm -mm. And I'll tell my kids all the time, listen, you don't have to be like the moral compass here. Like, right. hey, I'm not allowed to play that. Did you know, like, you shouldn't play that to your, like, you don't need to do that. You can mm -mm. also throw me under the bus. Right. Use me. Like, dude, I'm sorry. I can't play that. My mom is so annoying and she won't let me. And right. like, she scares the crap out of me and I don't want to get in trouble. Throw me right. under the bus. I don't care. I can handle it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I tell parents that all the time. Right. You don't have to like have your your kid like get on a soapbox and tell them why they shouldn't be on TikTok at mm -mm. this age. Who cares? Right. If their parents want to let them, let them, but use me. Let right. me be the bad guy. I'm yeah. not, like totally good in that role. Yeah. I think one more thing that you can do is facilitate the kind of gatherings that you want. So this requires more effort from us. And, and I don't mean be the entertainment. What I do mean is talk to your kids about this funny game that you used to play when you were a kid called kick the can or spud 
or Ghost in the Graveyard and suggest that they have a bunch of friends over to play that game, right? Have some of your neighbors over, order pizza, and let the kids run around outside while you do that. Bring out a big old box of popsicles and let everyone sit in the backyard and have one, right? Be the one who buys the water balloons. Like, I don't, I'm not saying that you should be out there. No, don't be out there. Leave the water balloons on the stoop right next to the hose where they can fill their balloons and get their drink, right? Like facilitate the kind of summer that you want your kids to have. And yeah, you might have to be the one who's providing those opportunities in your own space. Agree. Yeah. I love it when the popsicles come out. I feel Mm -hmm. like my kids the other day like ran up. I'm like, where in the heck? And they had next door neighbor had given them, you know, a popsicle. And I I love that, Mm -hmm. right? Like go outside, figure it out. Also, Mm -hmm. you don't have to navigate every social interaction, every conflict Mm -hmm. that your child has. Let Mm -hmm. them figure it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, one more thing. When you said conflict, I was like, burp. Um, So one thing that we could do or that we know is going to happen is when our kids are out playing with other kids, there's going to be conflict. And you have to think to yourself, how am I going to handle when conflict comes up? And let me just urge all of us to like, butt the fuck out. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. That was fucking great. (laughs) That was great. I'm serious. Yes. I'm serious. You know, if your kiddo comes home and they say, you know, like, they didn't let me play today. I mean, sit with them and say, oh, man, buddy, I'm so sorry. That's so hard, isn't it? And then you suggest that they go out and play the next day. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Don't you know? email the parent. Don't email your the parent. Fr- your child made my child feel, okay, well, uh, that's life. Right. Don't text the parent. Tell your kid, oh, that's hard. I know. I've been through that. It's one of the hardest things about being a kid. And you're strong. You're going to get through it. Tomorrow is a new day. If I know anything about the social world, it's that it changes from day to day. See if there's something that you guys might both like to do and try again. Encourage your kid to be a good friend. That's what you can influence and pat them on the butt and say, go get them, tiger. But, but, and, you know, let, let there be conflict. Your kid will be okay. Hot take. Hot take. We'll see you on Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen.